All right, so today we're going to make a histogram using R. Um, it will be based on this comp score data right here, which I've copied over into this new worksheet called R import. You can name it anything you like. And what I want to do is to make a histogram uh, looks something like this. This took a number of steps. Descriptive statistics had to be run to find the, the range, the minimum and the maximum, so I could figure out my bin range. Then I had to type in the, my bin range and then go to my data analysis tool pack. You can see that in the other YouTube video. So let's get that spreadsheet into our commander. Import data, Excel file, give it a name. Histogram works. Pops up the window. Chapter 4 exercises was the name of that uh, workbook. It, it pops up our, our uh, table here. We find the R import sheet, or R commander calls it table. So we select the R import table, click OK. It reads in the um, data without any problem at all. So here we can see our data. You notice that it, it added a period in between the, um, the variable name, which was originally comp space score, now is comp period score. No big deal. All right, doing a histogram in, in R is much easier than doing one in um, Excel. So you just simply get your data in, go to graphs, find histogram. In this case, there's just one variable, so it, that's the only option it gives us. Then we have some other options over here. So the number of bins, automatic, good idea. Uh, this display on the axis is frequencies. So our x-axis is the bottom. <clears throat> and you can name it whatever you want to name it. This is actually comp scores. And then the y-axis is on the left. In this case, it's going to be frequencies. The graph title is anything you want it to be. In this case, my first histogram in R. In R. Then click OK. And lo and behold, quicker than you can shout, you have your first histogram in R. Nice thing about R is that you can easily start to dress things up. Um, so say we want to get rid of these um, y-axes and just leave, leave the word frequencies. We can do that just like that. Uh, get, get rid of the, uh, the x-axes and put comp score, get rid of the space. We can do that. Say we don't even like the color of dark gray. Well, lo and behold, all we have to do is change it to, what do we feel like today? Green. We can change it to green. So then all we have to do is highlight uh, what we just just did, hit submit, and our commander will change it over to your lovely green one. So let's review. Imported our data, went to graphs, histogram, selected the variable to plot selected our, our plot labels, and hit OK. Nothing could be easier. Looks like we have a plot histogram that's leaning to the right here. We've got more, more on the right than on the left, and, and we can see that it ended up making one that looks just almost identical to the one that actually it is identical to the one that uh, was made uh, using Excel. So we can take this and save it 
as a PNG file to your desktop. My first histogram and then upload it to, to Blackboard or put it into your into your report. So quick and easy.